In this video, we're going to give you a very brief uh, high level overview of the tools inside of Blender that you can use to manipulate your meshes um, before you uh, bring them into Unity. So let's uh, open up. We're going to be opening up Blender 331. Uh, that was what we installed in the Blender installation video. Um, and in here we want to, there's a couple of different ways we can, uh, you should have already opened up your mesh file that you got from the Blender cloud, the Clender. Um, you should have inspected it at this point. It looks good and you're ready to proceed with the rest of the Blender process. So at this point, if um, you could just open up that Blender file by double clicking in your downloads, but I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna do file, open, and then in my downloads folder, the mesh file that uh, I have recently downloaded is this Hershey Country Club tutorial OPCD mesh. This is the one that I went through with the Inkscape tutorials. And remember, we want to allow execution. Um, this is the version of the OPCT, OPCD tools that we're working with. And the most recent one will be included with your Blender file on download. We're going to allow execution. And you can see up here in the upper right, we get our OPCD tools tab here. You can see. There's a tab right here, it's open up, and if I hit the end key, I can hide that or I can open it up. Um, these are all the various Blender tools, okay, um, that are available to you. Uh, I don't know if the rest of this tutorial, if I'm gonna go into deep on every single one of these simply because I wanna get these videos released, I might add to the, these in the future, but I'm just gonna give you a high level overview of all these sections and, and really kind of what they do. So. You, in general, when you're working down through your project, you're gonna start at the top here and work down through these tools with the last thing being you're gonna export your tool, your, your meshes. You export the meshes and then later on you import them into Unity. And of course, I'll show you how to do that. But to look at any of these tools, what you're gonna do is this little carrot uh, or this greater than symbol, you click on it and then the options for that tool, for example, this is the train manager, You'll now see that that opens this up and we've got a couple options here. One is the train manager smooth, the import OBJ and the outer mesh. And you can see that I can do that for every single one of these things. When I open it up, I get the details associated with that particular OPCD tool. Now, um, I don't like to open them all up because they eventually go off the screen. So I typically only open up the one that I'm working on. And you can tell by the one you're working on because it's highlighted in blue. So in general, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna start at the top so what Terrain Manager is, you should recall back uh, in Unity when you dug out your Unity terrain, maybe you dug out your blenders, maybe you smoothed some and you flattened some greens out and you exported your terrain OBJ. Well, this is where you're going to import it. Um, when you import your terrain, okay, that you created in Unity, you can actually smooth that. This is more of an advanced topic, but any sharp edges get smoothed out and you can change this. The if lowering this number uh, smooths your train out less and raising it smooths it out more. Be careful, you want to smooth out your terrain because if not, you get those sharp edges, they are a little bit of a drain on performance, they're high on batch calls. So if you're a new builder, I would say just leave this alone, okay? Don't touch this number, you just import your OBJ. In this particular course, um, you, or I know in Hershey, the course we're working on right now, I did not do an outer plot. Um, but this is where you're going to process your outer plot. Um, I'll probably will have a video on that. Um, who knows at this point, but that's how you expand this section. That's almost like a subsection of the train manager. So you can see I got train manager and then I've got an outer plot mesh section. So this is importing your outer and then conforming that outer and creating a mesh for it. Then we have our conform meshes. So when you import your terrain, your train OBJ, you're gonna then take your existing meshes and you're going to wrap them, okay, around your terrain. And this is where you're gonna do that. This section here, let me minimize these to make it clear what we're working on, is bunkers. So you can actually do some bunker manipulation with the lip depth, the inner depth of the bunker. It's, uh, you can do some digging in Blender, that's more of an advanced topic, but the digging that you should have done would have been done in Unity, and when you and then you exported that OBJ. But this is really for your lip, your lip, your the outside of the bunker, um, and flattening that bunker and doing some things like pot walls. Uh, water bases. Okay, this is how you manipulate the depth of your water bases and the lip of your water bases. 
Remember, for your bunkers and water bases, we talked about blends earlier on. Remember, we, they both have an, an outer blend and an inner blend. So this is how we can manipulate those shapes. Um, at water planes. So when you have your water base, which is the basin okay, of your lake or your pond, you need to then add a water plane on top of that, which is actually the water itself. So when you think about a lake, you've got the bottom of the lake, and then you've got the water sitting on top of the lake. So this is how you would add that water plane. Object placement, lots of stuff in here. I definitely won't have a video on all these. There are lots of, there's lots of stuff in the Discord, but you can add bulkheads, okay? So uh, a perimeter around a mesh that is a bulkhead, like a, a, the like side of a, like a dock where your land meets water, you can have a sharp bulkhead. You can add bridges. There's lots of videos on bridges. I'll probably include one of those. You can add curbs to your cart pass. You can add hazard stakes to a mesh. You can add hazard stakes and with ropes connecting them together. You can add stairs, okay? So if you have stairs going up the side of a, of a tee box, for example, you could add stairs. You can add raised like flower beds. So if you put a mesh around a tree and you want to raise that into a flower bed and put like a, um, like a, a flower bed perimeter on the outside, almost like a curb around it, you can do that here in the raised bed. So that is all these object placements. So you have your object placement, then you have all these sub tools within that. Blend management. Um, in the subsequent videos here, we are gonna talk about blends and vertex painting. Um, bottom line is this is where you can do some blend manipulation. We'll get into that in a little bit more detail in some later videos. Topology editor. Um, this is, I haven't actually, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to give you much, oh, this, now I remember what this is. I got to experiment with this a little bit more, but you can take out mesh and you can level it. You can also give it uh, different effects, like if you want to make a rush, mesh like rough looking, like have it, you know, not be smoothed out, um, you can do that here in the topology editor. Custom vertex paint. Um, this will make much more sense when we talk about vertex painting. Um, but for now, just know that this is the custom vertex paint section and then export. So when all is said and done, you can export all the shapes and that'll export in, a, in an FBX format um, that you will eventually import into Unity. Now, if you come back at a later time and you manipulate just one of these meshes and um, you could highlight it and you could do an export selected FBX. So you can you know, export just one shape. That way you don't have to export everything again. You can just do one shape, okay? Um, some other tools in here is you can select all your T's, all your fairways. So let's say you wanna manipulate you know, all of your deep rough for some reason. You could select it there and do select a message. And then you can see, oh, I don't have any deep rough. Oh, there's one. You can see it selects all your deep meshes in here. And if I hit numpad zero, um, it'll zoom out. That's probably not a good example. Let's just do all T's, select meshes. And now you can see over here that all my T's are selected. And if I zoom in here, anything that is a T box is now, you can see here, is now selected. These are all T's and now they're all selected. You can tell by the little orange perimeter. If I go in close, it's a little bit difficult to tell, but you can see there's an orange perimeter. Um, for example, if I selected this, it now has an orange perimeter. So that's just a way of selecting things. Um, and then when you're done, you can hit save, clear unused data blocks. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna save your mesh, any files that you are, uh, any changes you made, and it's gonna kind of clear out the file and clean it up a little bit to save it, make it a little bit smaller. Um, so that's it. That's a very high level overview of the V4 Blender tools. In the next videos, we'll go into a little bit more detail on a few of these.